Hey guys, welcome to The Bite. My name is Jackie. Today we're gonna to be making a citrus salsa that I've been loving this summer and it goes well with so many dishes. So here's what you're gonna need. I've got oranges and grapefruit and lime, some onions that I've thinly sliced, jalapenos and cilantro, salt and pepper, and that's it. So salsas are meant to be simple. They're meant to highlight fresh ingredients. So I'm gonna show you what I like to do. I'm gonna be segmenting this orange and what I want to do is take off the peel around the entire thing. So I tried to take off as little of the flesh as possible when I took off the outer layer. So now I'm going to segment the oranges. And I kind of showed you how to do this in my corn salsa video. But what you do is you just kind of go along the, I guess, the veins of the fruit and you take off the flesh without taking the white part, the little veins. So I'm gonna do that for all of my fruit and then we'll show you when we're done. So I've segmented the oranges. I'm just kind of giving them a rough chop and then actually I'll use my big knife to scoop those in. And then with the flesh, what's left, I wanna take my hand and squeeze it all in there. This is flavor that you don't wanna waste. Same with what's on my cutting board, but I will do that at the very last. So I'm gonna finish the same thing with the rest of my citrus, and then we'll come back. So all of my citrus is segmented. I took all the juice from the insides and even from the cutting board, because I don't wanna miss out on any of that flavor. So I have that all in here, and no. <clears throat> Now, I'm gonna work on my jalapeno. So I've already started thinly slicing it, and I took the veins from only half of the jalapeno. You can do it to your liking. I like mine to be just enough spice, and to me, this is gonna be the perfect amount. So I thinly sliced all my jalapeno and all of my red onion. This is half of a red onion. I'm just gonna add this into my citrus along with the jalapenos and give it a good mix. So I added an extra orange because the red onion that I had was extra large. So I wanted to make sure that there was a good amount of citrus in there. It is a citrus salsa after all. So I'm gonna add some cilantro, give this a nice chop until they are small pieces. Cilantro is chopped and I'm gonna throw it in there. By the way, when you're segmenting your oranges, you wanna be very careful with the knife because it can be pretty easy to cut yourself. So you wanna make sure, I mean, you saw that I used a small knife. It was something that I had good control over. So you wanna make sure that that's what you're using. So I'm gonna slice up this lime. This is just kind of bring the salsa to life because it's that nice bright citrus and it's got a bit of tang to it, unlike the, the grapefruit and the orange that I added. So it'll pair really nicely with the sweetness. I'm gonna add a bit of salt as well, not too much, and then some pepper. Give it all a good mix. And you can taste it to see if it's to your liking as well. If you wanna add more citrus, if you wanna add more lime juice. I'm only adding the juice from half a lime, but sometimes when it sits, it does get more sweet because the juice is released from the orange, so oops. So at that point you could also add more lime. So here is my citrus salsa. I'm gonna give this a quick taste to see if it needs anything. Mm -mm, this is perfect. Put this over some grilled fish, over some tacos, shrimp tacos. Ooh, that would be so good. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this a try. This is perfect for summer. Nice, clean, and fresh bite. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos right over here, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see what else we have coming up. I have a lot of good stuff coming up the rest of the summer and in through the fall. So, be subscribed. Follow me on social media so that you stay involved with what's going on. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.